Folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Universe Young Justice Superboy action figure set by Mattel. This set is part of Wave 3 of the Young Justice line of 6 inch action figure sets and was first released in early 2012. I got this set at a Target and it was so new uh, that the pricing was still not in their uh, computer system. So I ended up using a UPC code from the Aqualad set to pay for this set. And I ended up paying uh, $20. Taking a look at the Superboy in the package, you can see it's a version of Superboy from his first appearance in the Young Justice cartoon. Uh, when he was, uh, I guess, a, a lab rat of Cadmus. <laughs> and so... And he does come with uh, what looks like a Cadmus-related uh, accessories uh, with the sculpted diorama base here. And I guess the hammer right here and the steel girder. Taking a look at the back of the package here, you can see a description of Superboy there. And uh, of course uh, we have an artist rendition of uh, Superboy. Uh, very similar to the uh, styling of the Young Justice cartoon. Down below here we have other sets uh, from the Young Justice 6 inch line. Uh, we have, of course have Superboy and Sportsmaster. And we have here uh, two pack sets from the 4 inch line. Uh, Raj Al Ghul and Cheshire and The Flash and Kid Flash. Now we'll be right back and have this Superboy set out of the package. Alright we're back and we have Superboy out of the package and uh, first off I gotta say that out of all of the sets in the three waves of the Young Justice 6 inch line uh, this may be the weakest so far. Now that's not saying that it's a bad set in fact uh, it's actually a pretty good set uh, quality wise uh, and build wise it's actually uh, quite nice. Uh, it just doesn't seem to quite fit well uh, with the other Young Justice sets so far. Uh, it's got me uh, scratching my head a bit about some of the things that went into this set. Uh, I'm not sure why Mattel uh, released this particular version. Uh, but uh, we'll get into that in more detail. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and take a look at the diorama base uh, first. And uh, the diorama base is uh, what I'm guessing to be part of the Cadmus facility here. And you could see, uh, I can't even remember what this was supposed to be. I think it was uh, the part where they were, where uh, the Young Justice folks were destroying all the clones uh, of Superboy, or Superman, I should say. And uh, this is probably uh, what uh, the result of uh, all the destruction here. And uh, you can see here, it's pretty neat, it's a, uh, like a tube def device here with a mechanical arm with some uh, probably test tubes of uh, Superman's DNA there, or replicated DNA. <laughs> and it's uh, got some nice uh, lights, you could say, simulated lights. Uh, it's really painted uh, dots there, uh, erased dots there. Uh, it's actually uh, pretty cool. And... Uh, it's uh, like I said, it's of limited use because uh, this uh, particular set uh, really uh, was only in the first episode of uh, Young Justice, and uh, you really can't use it anywhere else um, unless you, uh, they bre break into another uh, laboratory facility and wreak havoc and <laughs> all that. Uh, but it's not entirely useless, it actually goes with uh, one particular diorama set. And uh, that's the one that comes with Aqualad. And you can actually line them up together and they sort of f uh, form a Cadmus facility uh, in destruction here. <laughs> so uh, the colors are not quite right on the bases, but uh, it does fit well. So uh, it's uh, not entirely a useless set. So I think that's uh, kind of cool. And uh, there is a peg here. Uh, you can place the foot of the figure on there and you can see the base here it's got some nice weather detailed uh, for the concrete I guess uh, flooring there it's actually pretty cool 
on there as opposed to the Aqualad set where it was just a plain uh, unpainted plastic on there so it's kind of cool that they added some detail on the flooring on there but uh, like I said limited use uh, but if you want to have uh, the Young Justice breaking into another uh, laboratory facility or breaking back into Cadmus <laughs> you can uh, use this for that uh, another accessory that came included with the Superboy figure is this here. Now, uh, I seriously do not remember this being ever uh, used by Superboy. In fact, uh, uh, the one or two frames of where this hammer makes an appearance, uh, <laughs> let me know because I certainly missed it. Uh, I I'm not even sure why they included this. Uh, uh, hammer with Superboy, with Superboy here, uh, because uh, he certainly doesn't need a hammer. <laughs> He's got super strength already. So um, the only reason I can think of uh, why they have this hammer included with the Superboy set is because uh, all of the other Young Justice sets uh, came with a whole bunch of accessories, and uh, I think the Mattel folks decided to include this so Superboy would not be uh, left out. <laughs> That's the only reason why I can think of uh, why this is uh, included. And uh, I'm not sure if this was if, if this was a hammer, uh, it, maybe a, a portion of the floor that Superboy had ripped up and used as a hammer. Maybe that might be it. Uh, of course, uh, that may have been in a cutscene, or uh, like I said, one or two frames of the cartoon series that I entirely missed. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, it's got some nice detail on here. And you can see uh, what looks like the concrete flooring here. And you got some uh, the typical yellow and black warning uh, label here. Uh, and a nice handle here. So I'm just guessing this is part of the floor that Superboy had ripped up uh, and used to smash the laboratory facility with. So uh, That's the hammer and uh, Superboy does uh, wield it uh, alright. Uh, it doesn't have any problems holding uh, uh, this uh, piece of accessory on either hand uh, or uh, both hands. So you can see he holds it uh, quite well. Now on to the Superboy figure. And uh, as mentioned, uh, this is a suit that he wore uh, in the very first episode of Young Justice and uh, has not worn it since. Actually, it was in tatters uh, by the end of the first episode. Uh, it was, uh, if, if you remember, uh, part of the chest area was covering the S uh, so that uh, when the Justice League uh, finally arrived and uh, Superboy... Um, revealed the S logo to Superman uh, it became a shock to him so but uh, the suit was never seen since and maybe it'll show up again uh, I doubt it though and uh, why Mattel included this uh, particular suit uh, with the Superboy figure uh, has me baffled I really don't know why they would include this uh, the I'm thinking maybe uh, this uh, particular set was planned to be part of the first release uh, when uh, the first episode uh, was aired. Uh, maybe that time frame was a lot closer and then uh, maybe decisions were made at the last minute and they put off this particular figure until later. Uh, I'm not sure uh, why they released this later instead of repainting it uh, with his uh, typical t-shirt and jeans and boots uh, <laughs> just really I don't I don't know why they released this so so late uh, after the initial episode uh, where it's really of limited function uh, it, uh, I get you can put it out uh, with other young justice figures but it just really has me scratching my head uh, why they released this version now I know that they released a uh, the four inch scale uh, Superboy is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive uh, that included uh, his, the cloning chamber and uh, that would have been nice uh, if this was released at that same time or with that uh, cloning chamber in fact I've heard that uh, this particular figure can fit in that uh, cloning chamber for the 4 inch scale uh, Superboy and I actually plan to look for that and uh, 
I want to use that uh, for this uh, six inch version here. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, looking at the figure, you can see Superboy here in a r really kind of a serene looking face. <laughs> I was expecting more of a, a more angrier look uh, because uh, he t is typically uh, aggressive, not really aggressive, but uh, more angry. And uh, it's um, one of the few times uh, where he's actually calm uh, that this face represents. Either that or uh, under his uh, mind control of, from Cadmus, I don't know. Uh, but the likeness uh, to the um, animated series version of Superboys is alright. It's not quite there, I think, uh, compared to the other Young Justice figures. I think the face looks a little too thin. I think uh, if it had a wider chin, um, it would look a little bit better. But uh, you can tell that it is Superboy. And uh, he's got uh, some nice uh, sculpt in the hair. You can see the uh, lines of hair there for the individual strands of hair. It's actually uh, kind of neat. And like I said, a very serene look uh, about his face. Uh, <laughs> like I said, maybe a mind control uh, type of expression there. And uh, over here on the rest of the suit, you can see the S logo. Actually, uh, quite clean. In fact, uh, this figure is uh, very clean uh, in the paint application. You can see the gray lines on the suit. Uh, really, uh, no issues uh, with that whatsoever, other than just right about here, where uh, it looks like a smudge of paint, maybe. And it's, I think it was because there's a bump in the plastic here, and maybe uh, the it got uh, hit a little bit on that bump and it sprayed it a little bit uh, too much on there. Uh, but uh, otherwise, it's very clean. Uh, it's uh, unpainted white plastic. It's very, very bright white, actually. And it makes me sad to uh, see this particular figure because uh, uh, certain figures in Wave 20 of DC Universe Classics uh, ended up being gray. And uh, to see this in white uh, kind of leaves me a little bit sad. Uh, but anyways, uh, you can see continuing with the suit, uh, or actually uh, you have his skin here. Uh, the suit ends at the forearm there, and nice uh, break on there. No bleed uh, from one color to the next, so that's kind of cool. And uh, the rest of the suit is just uh, plain white here from the legs on down. Uh, no detail uh, whatsoever, just unpainted white plastic. So it's a, it's a, it's a great figure uh, f for... Uh, one appearance in the cartoon series. Uh, would have been nice if this was released as a variant uh, or part of a two-pack uh, with a Superboy in his regular uh, outfit. Uh, but anyways, uh, uh, this is what we have. <laughs> At least uh, up to this point. Uh, going over the articulation, uh, the head does go all the way around and does go up and uh, down. The arms uh, go all the way around at the shoulder, a little tight on both shoulders, and it does go out and in. The arms go all the way around at the bicep, and they do bend at the elbow, and uh, rotate, uh, the hands rotate at the wrist. The torso uh, bends down slightly, up and uh, doesn't really go back, unfortunately, because he, he does uh, a lot of leaping poses. Not flying yet, uh, but leaping poses. So it would have been nice to have the uh, torso go back a little bit more, but it doesn't. Uh, it does go all the way around at the waist. And the uh, legs uh, can go up, down, and back, and out to the side. Uh, typical DC Universe Classics articulation at the hip there. Uh, legs can go all the way around at the thigh. Uh, the knees do bend uh, back and forth. And the feet do bend up and down at the ankle. Overall, it's a great uh, figure sculpt-wise, paint-wise uh, quality. Just really nice figure. Just uh, questions in, as to uh, the limited functionality of this particular figure to go with other uh, Young Justice sets. Uh, but this is my casual peek into the DC Universe Young Justice uh, Superboy action figure. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.